Morning everybody. Uh, don't know if this is working or what the sound is like. Uh, myself and Mr. Murray are here. Um, try and leave some comments or if anybody is live, uh, just to let us know if the sound is good or bad. If it's bad, I apologize. There's very little we're gonna be able to do today, but at least we'll know for going forward. So in light of the coronavirus and everything else, I hope everybody's keeping safe. Uh, keep up some kind of fitness regime. Make sure that you're not just sitting watching the TV all the time because that's gonna mentally tire you out. Um, so again, we're gonna go through some exercise today, maybe 15, 20 minutes. Uh, we're gonna be able to just give some little corrections. This is not gonna be a heavy fitness class. We're not gonna be there to try and teach you how to go running and do all that kind of stuff. We will do a little bit at the end, but this is gonna be more geared towards what exercises you can do at home in our confined little space. So like we always do as we start, we will bow, take on. We will go through our warm-up exercises like we always do, go through loosening out our neck, going, starting at the top of the body, working all the way down, our shoulders forward, our shoulders back, loosening out our arms, up and down, all the way around, just loosening them all the way out, hands to the front, hands opposite direction. Again, I'm speeding this up, members, just in light that this is gonna be a, maybe a 20 minute class, but again, you can take all the time you want to go through the motions. Again, stretching out the fingers, so maybe good exercise if you have hand sanitizer, put it on your hands and then start stretching them out. It will help keep us nice and clean and safe. From there, waist exercise, loosen it all the way around, opposite direction, side to side with the hands, and up to the top. And again, we can kind of create, be creative as you're doing some of these things. If you feel that it's too easy, pick up something. Maybe like a bag of flour or a tin of beans and then hold your hands out to the side, give us a little bit more of an exercise. So once we've gone through the whole motion again, then start down with the legs, go all the way through, and like we do in a, a, a typical class. So once we've gone through and we've loosened up, and again, we should be nice and warm because we're more than likely gonna be doing this in our own homes. The next thing we're gonna do then is just some dynamic stretching. So from there, typical, just hand up and down, nice and light, just stretching out the legs, going through, and um, keep it going, nice and easy. Maybe get, you know, 10 or 15 a them, or even if you wanted to do it on time, do it for 10 or 15 seconds. Then you can go out to the side, just keep the legs up to the side, kind of changes the different part of the body that we're loosening up into. And um, open out the legs, go double shoulder width, springing down, hold it for one or two seconds, not too long, because again, remember, this is more dynamic stretching than it is for the, the actual static stretching. Again, bending, touching the ground, leaning back, just going through the whole motion, loosening out the body, get that full range of motion. Later on, we will go through some, some static stretching, will help us a little bit better in that. So, next one that we do, we're gonna start off, parallel stance. From there, we're gonna stick the right hand out, remembering the position of the hands, making sure that we get that straight into the right position. From there, slowly go through the motion and accelerate out. So we will start off slow, just to get the motion correct, hand position, Reaction hand all the way back, and then we can start speeding it up. And accelerate, and accelerate. So we can keep going, maybe get about 20 of them. That will start getting a bit of a sweat going. So making sure that we're accelerating all the time. The foot position, as we're from there, lifting up into the heels, and then dropping down. So the speed at which we drop down, that's gonna dictate the speed that the hands can move. So a very, very important part of what we're doing. Following on from there, then again, we can elaborate, go a little bit more into sitting stance. So from sitting stance, pushing out the legs, and again, the same motion going through. So when we do sitting stance, remember, we do not need the heels in this one. This is all from the knees. So we go down, up, and accelerate, and accelerate. So it's very, very important that we drive those techniques out. It'll help us um, correct our technique and make us generate much more power that we have. Okay, so next one I wanna do then is hand positions. So when we're doing our blocks, um, as we know, we use the inside of our arm, the technique always comes from the bottom. So we do and palm up, kawunde maki, middle block, always comes from the bottom. We change sides, always comes from the bottom. If we use the outside of our arm, then the technique comes from the top. So some calteriki, always comes from the top. Outer forearm low block, back of palm up, najunde maki, again, comes from the top. Very, very important that we get our hands used to these positions. So do maybe 15, 20 middle blocks to the left, middle blocks to the right, low blocks to the left, low blocks to the right. 
You'll notice I haven't even gone into a stance or done anything. Just again, looking at the confined space, this exercise is just about getting the hands in the right position. So we go to the left, to the right, some cow, some cow, and the rising block, up and down. Then we can get to some of our more senior grades. We can start doing some of our more senior techniques that we do. So sang pan Maggi and the likes of that. So go through the moves that are in your pattern, making sure that we just get them. You don't have to do the whole pattern. You may not have space to do it. If you do, that's great. If you don't, just make sure we're breaking each individual move down as it goes. Okay, so next thing that we're gonna start doing is just some drills with our kicks, because we're gonna start building up our body a little bit. Front smashing kick, always a very simple technique to start off with. Like always in class, do a few slow. So lift up the knee, get the foot position into the correct position, extend out the leg nice and slowly, withdraw, and then down. Then we change legs, same thing again, lift up the knee, extend out the leg, withdraw, and then down. So very, very important, I'll just turn sideways. So as you're kicking, the correct part of the foot, the at gumshi, is pointing forward, it's not pointing up. We don't want this foot position, we want forward. Then from there, step back into our walking stance, extend and kick fast and fast. So remember, snapping motion, don't hold as it goes out there. We can hold, which will be great, and build the muscles in our legs, but when we're actually executing the kick, and then back down. Very, very important. Okay, next one we can do then is our side piercing kicks, making this one a little bit easier, and again, with space in mind, start off in sitting stance. So go from sitting stance, foot to foot, lift up your knee, rotate your hip, kick the leg out, and then back down. Again, start again, lift, up, kick, and then back down. Again, let's get a few of them going, maybe 20 of them on each leg. Now, from there, our next one, we're gonna build up the muscles in our legs and help and concentrate on our balance. So next thing we're gonna do then is ready bending stance, Quiberio Jumbi Sugi. So from there, in a slow motion, hands back, leg out, and then down. So as we go down, we're bending the back knee. That's why it's called ready bending stance. Then we come back up, and then we go through the motion again. Hopefully you're not sitting on mats because mats are a little bit wobbly. It's much easier to do this at home. Then change legs, same idea, hands back, down, and hold. If you can hold this for maybe 10 or 15 seconds while you're down, it's gonna build up the muscles in your legs, which would be great for our sine wave, okay? So that's gone through a bit of the warm up. That's gone through some of the exercises. So I'm gonna bring Mr. Murray out now in about 30 seconds, and then we're gonna do some patterns. So I'm gonna just pause this while we reset, and then we'll continue on in a few minutes.